Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, this is KidLot404, and right now is an exciting time to be a Nintendo fan. Mario Kart 8 has just released for the Nintendo Wii U a week ago and has sold over a million copies, that is huge! Super Smash Bros. 3DS will be releasing later this summer, and of course, in just a couple of days, fans around the world will hear all the new announcements and games that Nintendo has in store for us to satisfy our gaming craving for the rest of 2014 and the year to come. We already have some intel on a couple of games that we'll be showing at E3 for sure. This includes Hyrule Warriors, of course more footage of Super Smash Bros., likely more footage and gameplay trailers of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I'm really excited about that one. And also too, of course, Onuma's new 3D HD Zelda, not a remake, but the new Zelda will also be making an appearance at E3. Aside from that, not too much confirmed stuff, and that's where I come in where I'm going to try to predict five new games slash ideas that Nintendo will announce at this year's E3 that they have not hinted at. So you guys already know how this works, I've done this video before, so let's get started. Number 1. A new Metroid game for either Wii U or 3DS. So far over the past couple of years, Nintendo has been making games for their newest systems with their tried and true franchises such as Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon. Recently, Nintendo has made even new games starring the likes of Donkey Kong and Kirby. I believe the next deserving franchise in line should be none other than Metroid, and personally, I would like to see another first-person action-adventure Metroid game a la Metroid Prime appear on the Nintendo Wii U, and it would be amazing to see such a game rendered in beautiful HD graphics. Of course, a 3DS release wouldn't be such a bad thing either, as I, along with many other Metroid fans, would just like to see Metroid see the light of day once again. I'm crossing my fingers for this one, and here's to Nintendo announcing a brand new Metroid game at their conference. Number 2. Nintendo Figurines It seems like a lot of games nowadays are giving micro-content in the form of DLC, drops, or figurines that could add value to the game in some way. Skylanders is the most notable one with many figurines that you can purchase and scan into your game to spawn individual characters and items. Imagine if Nintendo did the same thing with their own franchises and with a game such as Super Smash Bros. where you would actually scan, say, Mario and unlock Mario costumes or a specific Mario stage. This also could happen for many other games such as Mario Kart or even something like Animal Crossing. This is all possible with the Nintendo Wii U's gamepad as it already natively supports NFC or near-field communication or the ability to scan items into the game right from the gamepad. We've already seen this in a trailer long ago in Rayman Legends as a demo, as a tech demo, where a character was actually spawned into the game just by swiping it across the gamepad. It was really cool, and I think this idea would do wonders for Nintendo, and this would also create a lot of value for all gamers of all ages, from older to younger, and especially the people who would potentially want to collect every single Nintendo figurine out there. Number 3. Mewtwo returns to the Super Smash Bros. series. Of course, as you guys know, Mewtwo was in Melee, but not in Brawl, and that made a lot of people angry. I think especially with Pokemon X and Y featuring Mewtwo and Mega Mewtwo, this is the perfect time to reinvent and bring back an old character that people love to play, which is Mewtwo. I don't know why Nintendo didn't want to bring back Mewtwo into Brawl, I don't see a clear-cut reason why they would do such a Thing, but now they have a chance to redeem themselves in the newest Smash for Wii U and 3DS to bring back Mewtwo in all his glory, especially since he was so prominent in the XY games, and maybe even too we can have a Mega Evolution as his final Smash. Number 4. Miyamoto's New Franchise Every console generation, Miyamoto has introduced one of his new franchises. For GameCube, he introduced the original Pikmin. For Wii, Miyamoto introduced Wii Music. What about for Wii U? No one knows yet. There were hints last E3 that Miyamoto wanted to bring a first-person shooter to the Nintendo Wii U. However, of course, that was not shown at last year's E3. So this is going to be his chance once again to show the world his brilliant ideas and to continue his legacy of making excellent games and brilliant franchises such as Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, and many more. Number 5. Super Mario Sunshine HD Remake 
Now this idea wasn't entirely created by me, it was first created by my friend The Colony. Shout out to you, The Colonies. But this idea is not completely outside of the question because Nintendo has been known to make remakes in order to buy time for them to develop their bigger, important games. For example, Nintendo remade Wind Waker that was originally on GameCube. They remade that for the Wii U in order to buy more development time for Onuma's new 3D HD Zelda. They could very much do the same thing with Super Mario Sunshine HD to delay the inevitable Super Mario Galaxy 3. And also too, even more proof on this, why does Nintendo keep bringing back game assets from Sunshine into the recent games? Like why in Mario Kart 8 is there Sunshine Airport? Why in the new Smash does Mario still have Flood as a move? And also too, why in Mario and Sonic 2014 is Delfino Plaza a playable area in that game? Hmm. Maybe it's hinting at a Super Mario Sunshine HD remake. If it's not a Super Mario Sunshine HD remake, I still wouldn't be surprised at all if Nintendo elected to bring back another game from the GameCube era to be remade in HD. That's just something that a lot of people, in my opinion, would like to see, and also to myself. And that is it, that is my top 5 predictions for Nintendo's E3 conference. We have Metroid Wii U slash 3DS, Nintendo figurines, Mewtwo for Smash, Miyamoto's new franchise, and also Super Mario Sunshine HD. If you guys agree or disagree, make sure to comment in the comment section below. I'm sure everybody is excited for E3, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.